I used to work at Chipotle for a couple years, so let's make my version of homemade Chipotle bowls. I'm starting off with three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, cutting off excess fat and rinsing them in vinegar and water. The marinade is actually super simple. I just bundled up a can of the Chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. The can that I use is pictured above, and I let the chicken marinate in this in the fridge for three hours or even overnight for the best flavor. Please be sure to clean your area really well, especially because you're dealing with raw chicken. I then go into preparing the pico de gallo or the mild salsa that they use at Chipotle. And for this salsa, the cilantro and onion are going to be the same ingredients in the guac so i usually cut those ahead of time that way it's easier to just put together and now for the guac just look at the beautiful color of these avocados i usually can tell if my avocados are ripe if the stem pit just easily falls off just like that and when i tell you guys this guac is even better than one at chipotle i am not lying i usually add more red onion cilantro lemon and lime to the guac than chipotle does and i feel like the extra lemon and lime allows it to stay fresher longer in the fridge just look how beautiful that is for the rice they use long grain rice so i rinse that off added my water to it i also added salt canola oil and bay leaf the bay leaf gives it the flavor and the canola oil will allow it to be nice and glossy when it's done you can easily pan fry your chicken but i like to grill mine for a nice charred flavor add your chicken skin side down first add salt to one side and then flip after five minutes for five minutes on each side or until it has a nice charred color the chipotle pepper marinade gives it so much flavor that honestly salt is really all you need. When the chicken is done, cover it and let it sit for about 10 minutes before cutting it to lock in that moisture. Remove the bay leaves from the rice, add cilantro, lemon, and lime, and mix it together to make your cilantro lime rice. And here are all the beautiful finalized ingredients, including some freshly grated Monterey Jack cheese to top it off. I promise you when I say that these chipotle bowls are 10 times better homemade, every single person I've made it for has fallen in love. So you definitely have to make it yourself and let me know what you think.